Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Today we're doing hydro dipping on some eggs. To start off with, I have plastic eggs with toothpicks stuck into the bottom. And I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum 2X spray paint. This is the glossy kind. And you are going to want some gloves and also a face mask for the spray paint. I recommend doing this outside if possible. So to stick the toothpicks in, you're gonna want some foam. That's gonna hold these up so they dry. And then you'll need a bucket with water. I lined this one with plastic. So here we go. Go ahead and spray any colors that you want into your bucket. And then once you're ready, take the toothpick and hold it while you dip the egg into the water. Now before you pull it back out, swirl it around a little bit so that the paint moves to the side. And there you go, you have a beautiful egg. Stick it in the foam and go ahead and go on to the next one. You can dip it in that same paint again and use that. You can actually do quite a few eggs out of just this, or you can go ahead and re-spray paint if you want. So I chose to dip two eggs into this first color scheme here, and then I wanted to change up the colors a little bit and focus more on the blue and purple. So I re-spray painted and then dipped two more eggs into here. Now one note is that these eggs are plastic, but on the outside, they're not a shiny, smooth plastic. These um, have a little bit more texture to them and they have almost like a powdery feel. So definitely more matte or satin on the outside rather than the highly glossy. So I haven't done this with the glossy eggs, but I'm sure it will work just as well. These ones I got from Walmart last year and they are specifically marketed as craft eggs for painting. Now on these last two eggs, I did not add any more spray paint. I wanted a lighter touch here with the paint. I wanted to have a little bit of the egg showing through. So I just went ahead and dipped again in the same water, knowing that I would get much less paint onto the eggs and it would be much more of a subtle coloring. And I actually love, love, love how these last two came out. They may be my favorite. So continue to dip as many eggs as you want. Once you're done, you can easily clean out your water by just swirling your glove inside or a stick. And then you can dump out the water once it's paint free and you are all done. So here are the eggs completed. They dry very quickly. You can seal them if you want, but they will be really durable uh, even without sealing them. If you do want to seal them, I would just spray paint them with some clear spray paint, maybe the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray or whatever you would like. You can also resin them, varnish them. So hope you guys enjoyed this. This is such a fun Easter project. This would be a great thing to do with kids and you can do this with nail polish. So that video will be coming up soon. See you guys next time. Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Today I'm doing hydro dipping with nail polish on plastic eggs. So to start off with, these are plastic and I made a little hole in the bottom and stuck a toothpick in there. So for this project, you're gonna want some nail polish, various colors. I got these from the dollar store. Then you're going to want a bucket full of water. It's just plain water. And then some foam to stick the eggs in to dry. Start off by pouring the nail polish into the water in any order, any colors you would like. Go ahead and take a toothpick and use that to make designs if you wish. You can also just dip without doing this, but I think it makes it much better. Then holding the egg by the toothpick that it's on, dip it into the water. And once you have it fully submerged, swirl it around a little bit to move the paint out of the way. And there you have your first egg. Put it in the foam and then go ahead and work on the next one. You can add more paint to the water if you need to, or you can just dip again. I definitely added more paint to this water. I'm trying out some different color combinations and different patterns with the toothpick. Dip the next egg. That was a fly that flew into there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Swirl it around, get the paint out of the way. And this one dripped a little bit. There was a little too much paint on there. Still looks awesome though. And I thought there was enough paint left in the water for this one to just go ahead and dip a second one. So I did not add any more paint. Keep in mind, you will be able to see some of the egg through that, but that's okay. I like how that looked. With this, you're not gonna, easily get full coverage on the entire egg, 
but don't worry about that. We're going for more of a marbled look. Continue to do this until you are out of eggs. Once you're done with all your eggs, you can clean out the rest of the paint from the water with your glove or a stick. And now we are all done. These take a little longer to dry and I actually prefer the spray paint method, but this is a really fun and easy one to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this hydro dipping plastic eggs with nail polish. I will see you all next time.